Welcome back y'all. So I have been looking all over online trying to get some ideas for how I want to scape out these multiple tanks that I have right now that I've accumulated from doing tank reviews. So I thought that I would share with you my top 10 favorites that I have found online because I know they're giving me ideas and inspiring me and hopefully they will inspire you too. So let's get into it. So this first one is pretty simple. It looks like it would be really easy to scape the tank this way. They just have some natural looking stones with some river rocks added, a few little decorations, and some really simple aquatic plants like hornwort and maybe some anubias. And it looks like they've got some bamboo going on in there. I really like this. It's simple. It looks easy. The only bad thing is hornwort can sometimes kind of shed in your tank. So might be a little bit of maintenance. This next one I really like because, I mean, it's kind of more wild looking and then it's also got, it looks like some pothos growing out the back. So unfortunately that tends to be very toxic to cats and dogs. So I can't do the pothos outside of a terrarium, but I really like the simplistic and kind of wild overgrown look in the tank. It also looks like they have some pretty low level lighting plants in there and maybe some moss, it's hard to tell. Um, I know I see a lot of java fern in there, which is super easy to grow and it looks like maybe some java moss. Uh, here we've got another pretty peaceful, tranquil looking tank. I love river rocks. I love the river rock look in a fish tank. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. So this is another one that looks like it was pretty simple to set up. It looks like they've got some moss in there and just a couple of plants. Looks pretty easy to set up. I like it. It looks simple and easy to maybe replicate. Now I really, really, really like the bright green plants that they have in this tank. And I absolutely love that piece of driftwood. Now with the grass and everything, it looks like this tank would require probably CO2 and pretty heavy duty lighting. So I'm not sure with the tanks that I have to set up that I would have appropriate lighting for something like this, but I absolutely love it. So this one is another pretty heavily planted tank. I really, I just, I love a heavily planted tank usually. And I like the little no fishing sign. Looks like they have some pretty simple plants. It doesn't look like it would be anything that would require any kind of major lighting going on. This is one I really, really, really like. It's simple and it just looks so peaceful and tranquil. I really like the bamboo. I just, I love this tank. It just looks so, it's so well scaped and it just looks so peaceful. I would want to live in this tank if I were a betta. Now here we've got a betta sorority tank and oh my gosh, so much growth, so heavily planted. I. I love it. It looks so wild. It looks so natural. It looks like you just took a little piece out of a creek or a river. I just love it. I There's something to be said about having a tank that looks so natural that looks like it really is just a piece of nature. And here we've got another one where I just absolutely loved the driftwood in this. I absolutely love the pieces of driftwood in here. I love the way that they set it up and of course it has river rocks in it. And then to add to that, it just looks all nice and overgrown. It's another one that just looks like you took a tiny little cutout of nature and put it in your home. Now this is another one that looks like it would require quite heavy duty lighting, but I really like how they escaped out this tank. It looks like they've got a lot going on in here. And it looks like it was probably a lot of work to scape it out just this way, but it kind of looks like they have a little cliff going on and then they've got a bunch of what looks like Maromo moss balls kind of creating almost some sort of like pathway. I really, really like it. Only problem is I don't think that I have heavy enough duty lighting for this specific type of design. And then last but not least, I could not leave this one out. I absolutely love this tank. When I first saw it, I, I think this might be one of my favorite tanks of all time. Even though there's not really any live plants, it does look very, very natural. And I love the way that they did the driftwood in this. It reminds me of fall and Halloween, and that is my absolute favorite time of year. And I just love it. It looks like there's little 
dead leaves from trees going on in the tank and I just, I love it. And I think I'm gonna actually have to do one of my tanks in this type of style. Now the only thing is trying to find driftwood that I can use to really, really replicate this. So it looks like I'm gonna be spending a lot of time at the creek by my house because I'm gonna need all the driftwood, all the driftwood. I hope you guys were able to find some of these tanks as inspirational as I have. I'm really excited. I've got a whole bunch of tanks that I want to set up. I've also got a whole bunch more tanks that I need to go out and purchase and review that y'all have requested. Don't worry, I will be getting to it. Um, it is just a bit of a drive to uh, get to some of these pet stores, but I will be doing more unboxings and tank reviews as well. So anyway, guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!